Here's a recipe that I actually use in my restaurant with the smoking gun. What I've done here is I've made some gnocchis, blanched them off, and put them into a casserole dish. Tightly wrapped it with plastic wrap, and then I'm going to pierce a small hole in the top of the plastic wrap, and we're actually going to smoke the gnocchi. The cool thing about this recipe, and it's actually great for vegetarians who miss having sort of that meaty, like fresh, savory flavor of, of biting into something that has that smoky, roasted flavor to it, we can actually impart that flavor right into the gnocchis. So we're going to add some wood to the smoking gun. In this case, I'm using hickory. Hickory has a really strong smoke to it, so we really want to get that flavor of smoke into these gnocchis and give it that meaty quality. Insert the tube, the smoking tube, into the plastic wrap. Turn it on. Light it. And we're going to smoke it until the inside of that casserole just fills up with smoke like that. Once it fills up and you can't really see the gnocchi anymore, we're going to pull the tube out and cover that hole with plastic and just let it sit there for about five to ten minutes until those gnocchis actually absorb all that smoke. After the gnocchis have been smoking for about 15 minutes, we're going to go ahead and remove that plastic wrap from the top. And as you can see, some of that smoke is still lingering in there after 15 minutes. I've preheated a nonstick fry pan with about a quarter of a cup of cooking oil. Turn it up just a little bit. You want to make sure it's hot enough that when you put the gnocchi in there, they actually start to caramelize as soon as they hit the surface of the pan. And like I said in, earlier in the recipe, there's actually salt already in there, so we're just going to put a little bit of finishing salt on there just to season the outside of the potato gnocchi. The other cool thing about this recipe is that these gnocchi actually saute perfectly, so the color of it becomes a nice golden brown, and the flavor of it's smoky, so you get that idea of like golden brown, smoky sort of little morsels of potato gnocchi. Really, really nice. While those are frying a little bit in the pan, I like to garnish it with a little bit of fresh tomato. Now, gnocchis and caviar go really good together. This tomato actually has its own caviar inside, so we're going to take the top and bottom off the tomato. Open this little door on the side and actually cut this, what we call tomato caviar, right out of the center of the tomato. Because of the flavor of these gnocchis that we achieved with the smoking gun, you really don't need to put a whole lot on this dish. We're going to garnish it simply with this tomato caviar, a little bit of olive oil, some chervil, and it's really all you need to have a great dish. We're going to put our gnocchis on the plate first. See how they're nice and golden brown, and you can smell the smoke. They're pretty much perfect. <laughs> we'll line them up like soldiers on the plate. Then we'll take some of that tomato caviar. Just sort of set that around. Finish a little extra virgin olive oil. Season the seeds with a little bit of salt. And then finish the plate with just a little bit of fresh chervil. And there you have a very simple dish that will taste like it was really difficult because of the help of the smoking gun.